so welcome to wander with archie i am so happy that you're joining me in this journey so we're heading to bali right now hey guys you know how the bangalore airport is very very far away from the city so i'm heading a bit more earlier than i planned before I would recommend you guys start much earlier and especially if you want to spend time in the lounge start at least 3 and a half hours early just the usual process of showing the boarding pass and your id and the moment you go inside and you want to check in your bags they ask you for the pedalilungi app i saw so many people who did not know about the app install the app before you reach the airport that saved me a lot of time and another major tip please make sure you sign in through your email and not your phone number After that it is immigration where the immigration officer asks you a couple of questions and then a security check in and then you're done with the process. This is the most fun part if you want to come to the airport and have the best meal ever just for 2 rupees. So your credit or debit card company usually provides you with free lounge access for domestic airports and it's usually limited access. So I would recommend you guys get Neo Global card because it has unlimited lounge access. Then I also wanted to update you guys regarding the documents required. First would be the vaccination certificate which shows the proof of two doses. The second would be the proof of return tickets and the third would be the Pedal Lingadi app and the fourth would be the proof of accommodation. Until this procedure is completed arrived at Kuala Lumpur airport heading towards the lounge we have a 4 hour layover i think we flew for 4 to 5 hours it was extremely tiring for sure but we have another flight to catch let's see how it goes and i'll show you the lounge in Kuala Lumpur I also forgot to mention that another very important travel document which is insurance I would recommend safety wing because you're like really convenient I've also dropped down the link below It's like a cute airport The lighting is better here and I'm like breaking out completely on my face you can see that but you know what it's fine it is normal I mean I used to stress a lot about pimples but now I realize that it's completely fine because you know I travel a bit and my skin goes through different climatic conditions and it's completely normal as it's early morning the lounge is closed I never knew the lounge is going to be closed I mean I am pretty disappointed that I didn't get a lounge because I was super hungry but guess what it's fine like I found a movie lounge like the seats are super uncomfortable but it's it's totally fine the airport is also really good and the brands are really amazing here to shop from but I think it's relatively smaller than what I expected I respect of that I also wanted to update you guys that you know I'm super happy for You guys joining me on this new journey of mine in YouTube. This is my first self-funded trip. Last year I kept the goal, a really big goal that I set. Because even when I set the goal, I was very very sure that I wouldn't really make it. But I think internally I wanted to work really hard towards it. It still feels unreal, you know, trying to make this happen. And also another thing, you know, this may not be the perfect travel vlog, but you know, again this is probably my first video and even the way i handle gadgets the way i you know tell stories and all of the other things are just going to improve from here i'm learning every day more informative content relatable content and all of that so stick along with me through this journey and support your girl now i'm flying from malaysia to bali so i wanted to talk to you guys about important things to know before you reach bali airport which is cab sim card and money exchange first is so when you just step out of the airport there's a grab um lounge so you can just wait in the lounge and you'll get the cheapest cab there it's super cheap to go with the grab and if you buy sim card in the airport it's super expensive so you can just tell your grab driver to drive you to the sim card and the currency exchange place and you can get both of those things at the best price 
So regarding currency exchange, I exchanged Indian rupee to dollars in Bangalore and then took dollars to Indonesia and exchanged the dollars to Indonesian rupiah in Bali itself. It worked out perfectly and I think it's one of the best ways to do it. Another thing, if you think that you're going to incur charge when you are drawing money from your ATM, probably you'll incur 20 rupees max. If you use Neo Global Card, I use it for point of sale machines, for ATMs and it's super convenient, zero hidden charges. Thank you for watching this vlog guys. Comment down below if you have any questions. I just reached Bali. I'll catch you in the next video.